Hey, what's up guys? Broken Notes here with a new game, Phantom Chasers. I know in the last video I was a little mysterious with the game because I just wanted to add a little suspense, I guess. I don't know. But I'm playing a new game and I want to see how it is because to be honest, as I look back, Notorious, I've been notorious of thinking I'll be showing some videos of a new game like, oh my god, I'm playing a new game. And then within three weeks, you stop seeing it on the channel. <laughs> I guess because I don't know, especially with Valiant Force. I think I'm not a fan of Valiant Force when I think about it, like when I look back into it. But it was the reason I was playing it, I guess, because mostly because it was refreshing. But of course, my mind was saying, dang, this game is so beast. When in reality, I just I just needed some, a little refresher from King's Raid, most likely. But 100% King's Raid, that, that game's never gonna stop. I love that game, it's too much. All right, but let's show you this game right here, Phantom Chasers. All right, so Phantom Chasers is actually similar to King's Raid, at least, at least um, how it flows in the combat. It's the same way, but there, there's no mana, so you can just use your abilities, but everything is on a cooldown. Some abilities actually don't have a cooldown when you first start, but a lot of the more offensive abilities, they will have a cooldown. Like the max cooldown, whatever it is, and that's how it is when you start off when you first start off the, when you first start off like a run. But okay, so I'm gonna start off a run, and I'm gonna show you guys how it is. Um, yeah. But this game is definitely a lot more strategic. Not only strategic, there's a lot more customization and teams and strategy than King's Raid. It's a lot more. This game is really, it, it, it's fun. I love how you can like customize your team based on, based on your needs and wants. And it's, it, it's, it's a hard game. I like it, I like it like that. So there's a lot of team building in this game, a lot. So this is the comp I'm using. First, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm already like two minutes in. So l l let me start off, let me start off a match right now. And I'm gonna show you how it is. And I won't, wait, actually, cause, I, uh, cause in this account, I'm actually really swole. Like, I'm like on day two right now. Playtime. I'm really swole. And I got like really good RNG. So, all, okay, so first off, when, when the game just started, I'm sure you saw these buffs. So, all those buffs are either the character that I'm using, yeah, the characters that I'm using, they have like their own natural buffs. Like, it's their passives. But, like, I'm gonna show you all that stuff. I'm gonna show you the gameplay right now how and how it goes. I have everything on auto, so you will see how the abilities go, and I'll explain how, how everything flows in as the game plays. So yeah, there goes the buff. So what happened was somebody just used a mimic. A mimic is because when you first saw there was like six, there were six heroes you saw. So the ones that was on the bottom, those are those are the ones you can just use as mimics. And when you use as mimics, you can use their passives, but you can't use like their basic attacks. Like I, I'll explain all of that. And of course you can see the, see it's set up just like King's Ray, but there there's um. It's like less abilities on King's Ray, like the well I guess because they compensated, they made the, all the icons bigger. So, it's just like the size, like it takes the whole bottom of the second King's Raid. But you can see how there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So I even silenced them, but you don't know how. This dude got attack speed up, and you can see like even like this, this green wave that just appeared. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So let me just, let me go actually into characters and actually explain some of the stuff that went on. Because there's also was a lot of buffs that went on that you guys are probably like, what's going on? What? Is, what? So let me explain all of that right now. Uh, you even got like battle stats too, which is pretty dope. Look at these battle stats. Yeah, back, man. <laughs> these two characters are so swole. God, 131,000. Yeah, baby. Yeah, like I'm really overpowered right now. I'm overpowered. Like, I haven't reached a wall yet. This is story right now. I'm trying to max out story so that I can get like the maximum benefits, which is like max XP and get those higher level units that confuse to level up. All right, so. This is my comp right here, and I, I just changed it up today. Like again, this is there's a lot of team building in there, so you love that customization and that strategy, that strategy base game. There's a lot in this game. Okay, so let's explain it. So th this is one of the basic characters that you get, but obviously he's a five star. So this is this isn't like the form you get. He looks different than his his first form. But, all right, so as you can see, they got gear. They got gear right here. You can, like manage your gear and all that good stuff. Look, manage your gear. You can, yeah, there's all types of gear. But I'm gonna be really brief because I don't wanna get too much into it. I'll make this to a, like a 10 hour video. But yeah, and you can see the stats right here. Even I don't understand all of them. You got attack, physical, magic attack, all that good stuff. Strength, dexterity, intelligence, crit rate. You know, 
a lot of similar things in King Raid, you know, eva uh, Evade Raid, Block Raid, Melee Block, Range Block, Defense Pain, all that good stuff. But now, let's talk about the good stuff, so skills. So, when, it when the game first start, there's some abilities that he would just use when the game start. Like, for example, first, let me read off his, uh, well, you can see the skills right there, like Half Moon Strike, you see it damages the enemies. I'm sure you've seen it when he jumps up in the air, and then you see, like, these, these like, waves, like, these, these, like, waves, three waves going towards the enemy. Then they got, like, Full Moon Strike, he does, like, this circle, he does, like, a circle slash, and you got, and then this is where you got some of, like, the, the passives. You can see it even says passive like right there. You see where it says passive. So this is a passive. So he increases strength, his max HP, and immobilize resist. So that's like that's I think that's like not um knock up and knock down and all that good stuff. So and then he also have key burst. I mean Kai burst. So I think I said that right. I don't know. But you see how he increases attack, defense, and also becomes invulnerable to knock down and knock back. But it's a cooldown every 30 seconds. So when he uses 15 seconds. During that time frame, he will not be able to use that ability. Again, that passive. So, and also, there's another passive. When HP falls below 50%, attack increases by up to 116,000, depending on how much HP decreases. So, those, those are just some of his abilities that he have. Some of his passives, actives, all that stuff. Now, what's how? Now, what really gets interesting are the mimics. So, mimics, unlike like your main team, your battle team, they're not used in battle directly they can use some of their abilities when you activate them but overall they're not like the ones doing the main damage so l let's use her for example so i have her as a mimic i like her better as a mimic so when you use her as a mimic obviously there's a cooldown for you can use her but when you actually use her as a mimic you get all of her abilities only ones you don't get is it said you see how it says cannot use right here you see how it says cannot use while mimicking of course when she's a mimic she can't use her basic attack so you lose out on that benefit of using her as a mimic and not in the main battle team but these are some of the abilities you can use when she's a mimic see look it says can use while mimic so she can heal she also have a silence but how that silence work is that when you when she use it it's a buff to her team and anytime i use abilities any any hero and it hits an enemy, it silenced them. And then I have Awakening, Increase the Party Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence. I also have Mana Overflow, which increase their crit rate by 30% and their critical magic damage by 64.90%. Also, I have Vendetta. It's another, it's another passive. So all these passives activate when I actually use her as a mimic. You saw all those, um, all those, what is it? All those, those, what is it? The buffs. I'm sure you saw that everybody had like three or four texts above their head and all of it said the same thing. That's her buffing her party. So you can see how the benefits you can have as a mimic or as a, or as on the main battle team. Like this is this is some of his abilities. I have I have it on this chick right there. Her name is Dong. I have it on her right here. Her name is Dong. And she's like she's my main powerhouse right now. But the, the reason why I have this dude on her is because he have an ability called Wookie Wookie, and that that increased attack frequency by 100%. I don't know what the hell that is, but all right, physical attack by 11,000 every two seconds for 15 seconds, but decreases their defense and gains immunity to mobility, gains immunity to mobility for the duration of the skill. So you can see why I want that on her because it buffs her up, it makes her stronger, and then. These other abilities, you see how it says can use while mim mimicking. So, like every now and then, he if you ha if you have him active, he will actually use these abilities on enemies. He looked again. least pat increases strength. Like all these natural passive that will just activate and even have cooldowns. I, well, I think this one right here is actually constant. Nice. So when he when you use them, you get that constant bit of that constant buff. So you also have stone crack right here. It's another passive, but they also have cooldown. Now that's what I mean. What I like about this game. There is a lot to it. There's a lot to it. In my in my opinion, it's a lot more strategic than King's Raid. But definitely the building process, it takes a long time. It takes a long time to build. It takes a long time to build. It's like this. So if you get so if you get this chick right here. So this chick, she she is she is the she is um her right here. So what you have to do, you have to like you have to max out her level. She have a cap, and once you reach that cap, you have to give her another one of her or you can give her one of these things right here to transcend you give you give her the shaman of transcendence 
So when you, when you max her out, you can transcend her. So you have to transcend her 10 times in order for you to turn her into this right here. But then once you get her to plus 10, then you have to actually get the evolved materials so you can actually trans so you actually turn her into a five star and then you have to do it all over for a five star so you can imagine how long that will take to actually max out a five star because now i say the biggest wall you get to is a five star because now i have to turn her into a five star in order to make her into plus one as a five star so you can see how, how it's gonna take a long time to get swole but also in this game there is a lot a lot of team building i love that team building one thing i need to get into the habit of which i don't do is that i don't team build i don't experiment because this game hopefully can force me to experiment so that in future games i can get into the habit of doing that but right now this game is definitely going to help me experiment with different builds, abilities, and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is a game I'll be playing on the side too with, with Kings Ray for now. Maybe some Shadow Gun Legend I'll be throwing that in. And I have this other game, it's like a Battle Royale. Um, you probably would know the game when I play it. But yeah, guys, hope you guys understand what I mean by this game. How I, I'm digging this game, I'm digging this game. Hopefully, it's just not one of these games that's just refreshing for me and I end up quitting. Hopefully, it's not like that. But right now, I'm digging this game. Alright, hey, wait, what is this? Wait, what? They got, it says new. Wait, why? Alright. Yeah, so the, this is this is like the gacha aspect. It's a gacha. So you go right here and you can like get some goodies. And this dog chip, I'm telling you. Unfortunately, this event is like ending tomorrow, so you won't get that you won't get that benefit, unfortunately. But like, yeah, I wasted like all my free to my free to play what is what is, what is, what is this called? Like stars or something? What is this? Yeah, star stones. I wasted it all on this. And I did a few refills. But now, I'm at the point where I'm happy where she's at. That chick Dong, because she is so swole. She is swole. She is so swole. She, look, watch this. Let me go to attack. Right here, I'm going to um, filter it by attack. And look, look, who, look who, who's on top. That's my girl right there. Let's go, baby. That's my girl right there. She is swole. And unfortunately, there's no way I'm going to actually, because, oh, and also, uh. I'll probably mention that in another video. I'm like 12 minutes in. Actually, I'll be brief about it. Also, about this game is that you can acquire almost every hero. So it's like this. You see how where it says locate right here? It says locate. So you can do that and actually try to find a hero in the game. Misc is usually how you can actually craft them. Battlefield, you find them in a Battlefield Adventure. I think it's like, no, Battlefield is like, it's a different game mode. Adventure is a story mode area, but this is like a different mode. Like, it's something like, um, you know, like Tower. I forgot what it's called. And King's Ray, so it's like that. And you can get items in there. And you can probably get some stuff, some goodies to make her. But I guess because she's new, you can't make her, unfortunately. But this chick right here, let me show you. So you can actually locate her. So you see there's, there's 17 areas where you can find her. That uh, Scala Tower is just like Tower and King's Ray. You know, the tower with that the fairy chick who's like there for like 100 years or whatever. I, for I forgot what the area was called. Where you get the the um, the pieces for the ancients. Wait, ancient? Wait, what? Pieces for the... The, man, I actually forgot the name. The um, I actually forgot the name. You know, like um, Golden Cat and all that stuff. I forgot the name. What, what the what they're called? I forgot. What the heck? But yeah, you can also craft them too. Well, I can actually craft a few of them. But you can see, I want to craft a three star version of her. So I'm not gonna craft a five star. So that's why this is where how the game could take a long time to get swole at. It could take a long time. And also the pay to win, they're definitely gonna have an advantage because. As you can see, how I got the reason why my dog is plus four because I was using the the I was keep buying her. But of course, someone's dropped like a thousand dollars on this game. Like right now, they could probably max out dong day one. But this is hey, but this game, this game it, it, it's it's a it's a it's a marathon, not not a full out sprint. It's a marathon. This you'll casually get by and you get stronger as the day comes. That's how it is. All right, guys. And also one thing I like about this game is that. Oh, I guess the paywall is um is mostly how um what is it is that right there that's the paywall is that transcending can be a little difficult but um overall the the other heroes that you can get you can still max them out a lot of, like no, some of the the non newer heroes you can just max them out and get them plus ten so the good news about that is that you don't have to worry about unique weapons stopping your 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 because soon you'll get to a point where you just cap out strength you don't get to that point. Like you would have like the um what is it the um I forgot that world you know the world boss um item I forgot what's it called that gives you 10 plus HP defense and like attack something like that 
and then you could probably put like all ancient attacks on your 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 unique weapon but eventually you just get to the point where your attack is not moving up anymore unless you unless you up your unique weapon stat it's gonna be like that unfortunately but in this game there's no cap on a lot of these heroes there's no cap at least the non none of the newer ones you can just cap them out you can get the accessories and craft them not the accessories you can craft them out and all that good stuff but yeah this video this video is going 15 minutes in so i hope you guys have a general understanding of how this game works and also yesterday while i was playing it was like it was like it was like um raid boss well it is raid boss pretty much so you fight that that turtle and then once you like you give them the hands you just you bop them you get goodies gold all that stuff but yeah guys hope you guys have a great day great night all that good stuff i'll be playing some more of this game hopefully it's not just it's like woohoo something refreshing oh my god i'm four weeks in this game it's hot garbage hopefully i don't get to that point but let's see what happens all right guys deuces